football club as Aguirre is to his, so that might cancel each other out. But they, are, if either one of them is able to play, it's going to give his team a tremendous advantage. Right in the middle there is number eight, George Gervin, who will be 34 years of age a week from today. 14th year, but his first with Chicago. Played, of course, at San Antonio. The seventh all-time leading scorer with over 26,500 points. All-time playoff scoring average is right behind Jerry West. So George Gervin, who's really had to make a... I guess a traumatic adjustment going from San Antonio to Chicago coming off the bench here. Playing a lot less minutes, but he's always been great in the low post, and he's going to have a young player against him, Rick Kyle. And they're going to isolate right now. The Chicago Bulls spreading out their offense, making the Celtics play individual defense, not the team variety. They get it into Gene Banks. Banks gets the basket. The only lead Boston had was the first points of the game. Without Jordan in the game, they've got to find a guy they can give the ball to and count on him to get him a couple of points. Gervin going in. Crashing the boards and a good play inside. Jordan still on the bench. Woolridge. Gervin tries to keep it alive. Into the hands of Dennis Johnson. And a Chicago foul. And there's another good foul for Chicago because that was a three-on-one break for Boston. Go in the first half, 41 to 34 in favor of Chicago. Gervin, Woolridge inside, tried to draw the foul, he couldn't, Bird bodied him well. And produce some other offense. Let's see if they get uh, to work Gervin a little bit. Gervin against Parrish and the Boston foul, it'll only be their second team foul. Jordan comes in replacing George Gervin, who I don't believe even attempted a shot in the time he was in there.